Have you ever heard someone say, or even maybe you have said this, I'll sleep when I'm dead. Well, you may be dying sooner because you don't sleep enough. Stress is a universally experienced condition, and it can lead to significant impairments in your quality of life. It can increase mortality risk. It can lead to cardiovascular disease, hypertension, obesity, and even mood disorders like depression and anxiety. And one of the ways that we can help mitigate all of this stress and help us achieve our fitness and wellness goals is through sleeping. Yes, for some of you, you may just be able to sleep your problems away. Some research shows that eight to 10 hours of sleep per night can be the most beneficial for our health. And the average American usually gets about five hours of sleep. So as you can see, we have a drastic discrepancy between what we should be getting and what we're actually getting. Today, we talk about sleep hygiene. Sleep hygiene refers to the practices and habits that are necessary to have a good nighttime sleep and full daytime alertness particularly for my audience and clients north of 40, maintaining good sleep hygiene is crucial due to the changes in sleep architecture associated with the aging process. These changes in sleep architecture that I'm referring to can include sleep fragmentation, so an increase in waking up in the middle of the night and going back to sleep, also referred to as nighttime disturbances or night sweats, hot flashes, sweaty toes, all of the above. On top of this, one of the changes for sleep architecture can be a decrease in deep sleep stages. Circling back, let's zoom out and look at the context of sleep hygiene on the impact of overall health. Poor sleep hygiene, or the habits associated with going to sleep and being asleep, can unsurprisingly lead to insufficient sleep or even sleep disorders. And this can directly impact our overall health contributing to various issues such as cardiovascular disease, diabetes, obesity, and even depression, which, if you don't already know, are particularly concerning and experienced by individuals midlife and older. As we age, changes in sleep patterns are common, including alterations in the circadian rhythm, which can consequently shift sleep phases earlier or later in the night. Individuals north of 40 can also experience an increased prevalence of sleep disorders, such as insomnia, sleep apnea, as well as restless leg syndrome. These disorders, as you may have guessed, can significantly decrease our quality of life, emphasizing the need for targeted sleep hygiene practices. Just to further bolster this information about the importance of sleep hygiene, I'm gonna share some recent studies that highlight the critical role of sleep in health maintenance and disease prevention. A research study in 2015 found that insufficient sleep is directly associated with a range of health issues, including but not limited to type two diabetes, obesity, cardiovascular disease, and even mental disorders. We also know from current literature that the risk of these diseases also increase with age in the first place, independent from sleep hygiene alone, therefore implying that sleep hygiene can further help slow or reduce the risk that already exists for this population. Next up, a research study in 2004 found that sleep architecture changes as we age, leading to a reduction in slow wave or deep sleep and REM stages. These changes can affect sleep quality and quantity leading to daytime sleepiness and fatigue, which for my clients struggling with weight loss or weight management can be further more challenged with fatigue and sleepiness because it's gonna make you feel hungrier throughout the day. All the more reason to get some shut eye. Last up is this 2006 research article that highlights how sleep disorders such as insomnia and sleep apnea can increase as we age and are directly associated with an increase in morbidity, which is defined as an increased likelihood to get disease and mortality rates in the older population. So there you have it. Next time your trainer or medical health professional will look to you and tell you, hey, you should really consider getting more sleep. Now you know why it's so irresponsible to say, I'll sleep when I'm dead. As with all of my videos, I usually create an overview of the concepts and then I dive deeper to each concept in other videos. So I hope this sleep hygiene introductory video has better prepared you for an understanding of why sleep hygiene matters, what it is, and why it's so important for individuals north of 40. I say individuals north of 40, but that was the context of this video. Obviously, it's extremely important for teenagers and children, so let them get their sleep. 
And before you leave, hit the like button. If you've enjoyed this video, share it with your friends and family and anyone else who can benefit from this information. And always remember, your health is an investment, not an expense. I'll see you in the next one.